video um, after finishing the army of two run where some of the footage is still being shown in the background i'm extremely happy how the overall season has turned out now i wanted to give you guys first of all a big thanks and shout out for the nice comments that uh, uh, that you have provided as well as all of the suggestions uh, that have reached me via comment section and personal messages um, we might want to look into some of the ideas that you've suggested and I want to shortly talk about uh, which of those ideas I can um, immediately start implementing and which might be a little bit delayed. So I will uh, touch upon all of the ideas and my thought process around it, plus give a short update about what the channel is going to look like in the next few months. So the first alternative that you guys suggested was Phoenix Point. Uh, one of the competitors or natural successor of XCOM, uh, one of the key creators of the original game, has uh, created the spin-off of a very, very similar ga uh, game, a very similar theme, Alien Invasion uh, on the Earth with a complete overhaul of uh, what uh, um, a defense might look like. Very similar gameplay in terms of uh, the core aspects of a, a strategy uh, game. Very similar uh, general setting uh, on how to deal with the aliens, similar tech curve and so on and so forth. But also a lot of different kind of refreshing ideas uh, to the game. Now, it goes without saying that that is an incredibly interesting title. And we're going to feature that sooner or later on the channel. However... I wanted to uh, read one particular review, which pretty much sums up where the community uh, is currently standing regarding Phoenix Point, and it resonated also with me. So I wanted to uh, give you guys uh, a bit of uh, the context why we are not immediately going to see um, anything regarding this game. So uh, a user in Reddit uh, in the XCOM uh, user community uh, wrote towards uh, Phoenix pa uh, Point. Gameplay isn't bad. It feels like playing uh, the XCOM game. It has a couple of neat options. The game is worse than XCOM 2, but it's still fun. The backer builds were okay. And now is the part which is more important for my decision. A big no-go for me is uh, that it is ESG exclusive, so Epic Gaming um, uh, Center, which is a Chinese company uh, with, according to him, and you can, um, I, I did my homework and uh, actually Googled it quite a bit uh, regarding this topic, has horrible uh, work ethic and very close ties to uh, government, basically spyware. It is collecting data, trying to access DLL, uh, DLLs, enumerates running processes, takes copy of uh, local uh, Steam files and uploads all of your copies as well as histories and encrypted uh, passwords. So in short, without going too deep, Deep into uh, this topic, I think one of the biggest controversies or problems with the game currently is it is EGS uh, store only. Um, there will soon be a Microsoft Pass, there will soon be a Steam Pass. Um, other feedbacks uh, within the community is the game has been early released and there is quite some um, hiccup about uh, balancing as well as uh, ironing out the last uh, issues. I don't need to rush into the game and I want to provide quality gameplay content uh, for you guys. So we're going to table that. I would say as soon as the uh, Steam update is out, we'll give it a really, really good go because I wanted to take a closer look at that. Second contender uh, for games uh, that I've been asked about uh, often, very often, is the whole Long War of the Chosen. I've uh, used uh, the Long War page here as an illustration, but in reality, it's the adaption of exactly this mod here for the War of the Chosen uh, campaign. And uh, I was skeptical at first whether or not this content would be interesting for a larger audience, as Long War is different than XCOM 2. It is longer and probably more tedious. Um, I can tell you, though, that I've uh, come to the uh, decision that I will at least give it a try. I've played quite some uh, missions in Long War 2 and have already started a campaign, which I will um, show on the channel during the next one and a half month. I will wait uh, for your reaction, and if the reaction is overwhelmingly positive, we will continue the campaign, but it is a substantial time investment. 
and also the missions themselves take a little bit longer. As a sneak peek for that, I wanted to share the following with you. This is out of one of the videos uh, which I just recently shot, uh, which gives you a bit of an idea what Long War could be about, specifically if Saiken is starting to play it. I won't give any more uh, context as of why, when and how that mission happened, but for those of you who are familiar with XCOM 2, you will see the numbers and um, yeah, it will probably produce a smile on your face. So if you're into that content, great. Uh, make sure uh, to give positive feedback in the next one and a half months. So we're continuing uh, with uh, with this campaign. So that's definitely going to happen. However, we had a few other suggestions that I wanted to take a look at. Another excellent suggestion that had been made was the King's Bounty games. Uh, for those of you who weren't uh, really familiar with them beforehand, uh, it was originally, I think, an indie Russian uh, company that was producing it, and they have been incredibly successful with uh, with their game. The graphic is a bit outdated by now, but I was, boy oh boy, was I playing these games uh, back when they came out, specifically the first one. It is a really interesting kind of tabletopish uh, role-playing game uh, with uh, armies um, probably best described as uh, uh, Wizards of Might and Magic the success of Wizards of Might and Magic has a magic system has another uh, system with a dragon pet that has uh, specific other um, abilities and the fights are quite hard plus it has kind of an overworld storyline but the real trumping uh, part about this game is by far uh, the massive massive fights that you can uh, that you can take as well as the army compositions i was playing the game probably three to five hundred hours uh, so i am fairly confident that i can deliver good content on it um, and the game will since it had been requested multiple times the game will definitely be featured not sure yet if i'm immediately jumping into it but i would say um, most likely q1 of uh, next year i'm going to take a look at king's bounty and last but certainly not least, Divinity Original Sins 2. I covered it quite a bit when it uh, was freshly released, did my hardcore run. Um, I would want to continue playing uh, that game, specifically since obviously some mods had been released. I haven't fully read uh, through them. Uh, you can expect that I will uh, probably do a lone wolf experiment with the hardest mods, uh, some scaling enemies, reduced experience, and so on and so forth. So kind of like the hardest possible version of how to play the game and still uh, somewhat have fun. I might end up uh, editing the videos uh, quite a bit because uh, the overland travel and a lot of the quest stuff was was mediocrely perceived. Uh, many players were more interested in, uh, or many viewers were more interested in the actual combat, how it played out. So I guess that would be a bit of a different series, focusing on how to survive uh, the game with only um, two characters. The other topic with this game is it has also a reverse difficulty curve. So after uh, the first, uh, respectively, second island, we might give a good look at it and see if it is uh, still worth uh, finishing the campaign or if kind of a focus on the first parts of the game would be enough. So this is probably going to uh, be my project uh, before uh, King's Bounty um, and might happen early of next year. I will need to upgrade the hardware for it. So that's uh, the first thing that I'm now going to do around Christmas, getting a new graphic card and a new uh, PC spec SSD uh, so that uh, the games will run more smoothly. One final topic uh, that I might look uh, into if there is interest would be the good old Total War, Warhammer 2. I know there are a few channels covering uh, this beautiful game, but I might give it a try my, uh, myself. Played the game for around 500 hours, uh, know the factions reasonably well with the upgraded graphic card and the upgraded uh, SSD. That should be possible to uh, have some really, really solid gameplay. I will need to get the DLCs to make it current. And then we can give it a go and see if the content is interesting. 
so Total War Warhammer 2, uh, mm, either this game or Divinity Original, since uh, mm, we'll probably make the first cut beginning of the year. Last but not least, I do have a small uh, test announcement or an announcement for a small uh, pet project that I do have, which I wanted to share with you as well, because I will. Be also looking into another XCOM 2 related project. I've been asked time over time, specifically via uh, via Reddit, whether or not it is possible to go for a legendary Iron Man Lone Wolf, i.e. only one character uh, campaign. I will give it a try and see, first of all, what, what it would take. I can already tell you it won't be a typical campaign as I am very, very confident that uh, the two players uh, or the two characters per, cam uh, per um, mission are the absolute minimum amount that you need in order to beat missions regularly. However, I might end up... I, I had a really, really uh, detailed thought process around how I might be able to crack the game on the highest difficulty with only one soldier. Um, and I want to give it a try and see if I can make it happen. If it's somewhat reasonable, uh, expect that I will uh, give it a try and update you. So this is more a teaser. Maybe it is possible, maybe it's not. Stay tuned to see what will happen. With that, I conclude the channel update and uh, wish you all a pleasant and blessed day. We see each other with uh, starting with uh, Long War 2 and uh, looking forward to interact with you guys. Take care. And bye-bye.